Ladies and gentlemen, is Kinnich a must pull in Genshin Impact? So there is a few reasons why you must have clicked on this video wondering if he's worth your pulls. Now, one thing I can think of is, well, if you like him as a character, then he's worth it. If you don't like him as a character, then don't even bother, right? The first things first, if you just like how he is, his character design, um, how he plays, has movement, whatever it may be, if you like that, then get him. Other than fact, you don't really have much to think about. If you do like him, just go ahead and get him and he'll be worth it for you. But on the other hand, is is he any good? If he's a good character, does that make him he's worth the pull? So I figured I can list a few reasons. And the one that I can think of on top of my list is the exploration factor. Now in Genshin Impact, we've already had a few characters in the past that have been pretty excellent at, you know, just moving around. We've had Kaza, Venti, we've had, we've had Yelon, we've had whoever it may be. All of them are pretty good at that, but this is a different level. Natlan has made sure that these characters have a much more exploration focused type of abilities that allow you to move around everywhere and just have that Natlan feel to them because apparently that's what they are going for. They're going for the hell of movement. That's pretty much their shtick. This is what they want their Natlan characters to be. For the exploration factor, his ability is, you know, able to use the grappling hook. And with that, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. And I'm pretty sure you'll have a field day with that. And he'll be excellent to traverse really high, you know, areas and stuff like that. It's going to be a little bit different than what Kachina has and what Moalani currently has. And I'm pretty sure characters in the future are going to have some different stuff as well. So, exploration is definitely his best selling point at the moment. Of course, he does excel at exploration, but E2 will excel at single target DPS. We've already had a character that deals single target you know, DPS damage in the past. We've had multiple, actually. We had Yoimiya, we've had, oh, actually, a Dendro character, Tenari. Tenari is a pretty much single target character, even though he can sort of deal multiple you know, damage with this tiny area of effect. It is pretty much single target focused, right? Now, I do think he has this ability to do more than a single target damage thanks to these burst. His burst is just gonna like fire the lasers out of the dragon, right? I mean, he's pretty much going to be mostly single target and that's where you get most of his value from. T single target characters in the past have always been powerful but since he is Dendro, it gives him access to Dendro reactions, which makes him even more formidable and makes him even better than what you would initially think. And I know I've been glazing him for a while, but it is time to talk about some cons here and a few reasons why he might not be worth it. One thing that I can think of is that there are other better Dendro character options like Alhatham which can easily scale off of Elemental Mastery, making him even more powerful for reactions. And he has AOE, just he can hit multiple opponents at once, making him much better than single target Nan. Other than Alatham, he's also second to future characters that might come out, which will help your character or your account in general be much better and will benefit much more significantly. Picking the Pyro Archon, for example, would probably benefit your account much, much more than getting Kinnich. Pyro Archon is probably also going to have a Night Soul Blessing and have some cool movement with that. I don't put it past my week to have any of those. Maybe she has a bike or a bike, you know, or whatever it is. But in any case, I think picking an Archon is probably going to be more worth it for you. So maybe even Nahida, maybe even Zhongli, maybe even Raiden Shogun, right? Whoever it may be, probably are going to be worth a little bit more. Even Kaza, which is currently in the character banners. So make sure you guys get Kaza if you really want something to be worth it, quote unquote, right? Other than the universally good characters that you could probably go for, at the end of the day, it's purely purely up to you whether you like the character you should go for them or whether you prefer you know quote unquote meta characters and just getting something better for your account 
then go for a character or I guess a weapon that you deem is better for your account. Now, I think that is pretty much all I wanted to mention, other than the fact that just get whatever character that you feel like is worth most for your your primer gems, I guess. It's going to be pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you guys think that uh, I missed a point or something like that, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.